Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are doing good. Today, I welcome you in this video, and this is the last video and the last lesson of second term syllabus 2020. We will be learning general science chapter 8. The topic of this chapter is sound and noise. This chapter has four objective. They are recognize sounds from common objects. And number two, objects that produce pleasant and unpleasant sounds. And number three, the importance of sounds as warning signals. Number four, the causes of noise pollution and the ways to reduce it. These are the four objectives which we are going to learn today. Let us first discuss sounds made by common objects. We hear different kinds of sound throughout the day. The sound of bird chirping, the tick-tock the tick -tock sound, the whistle of pressure cooker, the sound of vehicles, the musical sound of the doorbell, barking of a door, the vehicles and vendors, etc. There are soft sound and also loud sounds. The sound of leaves when the wind blows over a tree is a soft sound, while the honking of a door is a loud sound. Sounds made by living beings. All living organisms like birds, humans and animals make sound. All living organisms use sound to communicate. The sound produced through mouth is called voice. We hear different kinds of sounds when we are in different places. In a bird, we hear children laughter, sound of birds, rustling of leaves. In the other places, in the other public places, announcement over the loudspeaker, people chatting, humans make different sounds with our mouth, whistle, love, sneeze, shout, cry, gurgle, etc. We can also make sounds by clapping, jumping, running, stamping our feet. Animals. Animals and birds also make different sounds. For example, cats mew, bees birch, frogs croak, lions roar. Animals also use sound to keep their territory safe. For example, when you go to a zoo, the loudest music you will be hearing are from a bunch of monkeys, they make sound when they are happy and also when they are scared. Hmm. Students, I hope you understood about sound made by common objects. Right? Now, we are going to discuss about pleasant and unpleasant sounds. So, there are two types of sounds. They are pleasant and unpleasant sounds. Number one, pleasant sounds. Pleasant sounds are those sounds which we feel good when we hear. For example, chirping of birds, rustling of leaves. Okay? I hope you understood pleasant sound. Now, let us discuss on unpleasant sounds. Unpleasant sounds, loud noises are called unpleasant sounds. They are very disturbing. For example, a child shouting and screaming, honking of a horn, etc. Alright, I hope you understood this. Pleasant sound and unpleasant sound. Now, let us discuss on importance of 
sound as warning. Number one, the loud sounds that make people aware of danger or emergency are known as warning sound. For example, fire alarm, police siren, and ambulance siren are some of the warning sounds that alert people to danger. Number two points, when a police vehicle, ambulance, fire truck passes in a road with a siren, people are alert and give way to the vehicles because they hear the signal warning sound from the siren. Now number three, fire alarm. When a fire alarm is heard in a building or home, everyone exists to exist the home or building for safety. Signal of sounds are very important for safety purposes. Okay, now let's learn and discuss about noise pollution. Pollution created by noise is called noise pollution. Students, I hope you understood about noise pollution. Pollution created by noise is called noise pollution. The causes of noise pollution are horns of car, buses, trucks, loud volumes from TV, bursting of crackers, sound of airplanes, etc. This noise pollution is more in cities than in village areas. Students, now let us discuss on harmful effects of noise pollution. Number one, short term effects include increase in human stress, levels, headache, etc. Number one, short term effects include increase in human stress levels, headache, etc. Okay, now number two, long term effects include hearing loss or deafness, irregular blood pressure, heart disease, etc. So, let us read again. Long term effects include hearing loss or deafness, irregular blood pressure, heart disease, etc. Now number three, noise pollution also affects the ability of animals and birds to hunt for their food. Again, noise pollution also affects the ability of animals and birds to hunt for their food. Now, number four. If exposed to excessive sound, it may lead to mental imbalance and nervous disability. Again, if exposed to excessive sound, it may lead to mental imbalance and nervous ability. Students, I hope you understood harmful effects of noise pollution. Now, we will be learning ways to reduce noise pollution. Number one, industries produce lots of noises so they should be constructed far away from residential areas. Okay, number one point is Industries produce lots of noises, so they should be constructed far away from residential areas. Number two, silencers should be fitted in machines and vehicles to reduce the noise produced. Silencers should be fitted in machines and vehicles to reduce the noise produced. Number three, Honking on the road should be used when necessary. Honking on the road should be used when necessary. 
Number four, watch TV and listen to radio music on low volumes. You must watch TV and listen to radio or music on low volumes. Now number five, plant trees along the road to decrease the noise from reaching the home. Plant trees along the road to decrease the noise from reaching the home. These are the points, ways to reduce noise pollution. Students, even when we talk to someone, we should talk in a soft voice because we have learned that loud sound comes, stress, headache, affects blood pressure, especially to people who have heart diseases and also sick people, we should talk to them in a calm voice. Talking in a calm, soft voice is also a good manner. So we should always practice to talk with a calm, sweet voice to our fans, parents, teachers, and our elders. Students, students, I hope you understood today's lesson. Please do visit the school website and copy all the notes from this chapter. Study hard, stay home, take care of yourself. Thank you.